fintech's been around for the past maybe three to four to five years. And a lot of that has been the banking system as it operates today can be a fairly inefficient and, and an industry that's full of a lot of friction in the way things are done. So if you think about financial technology, it can help in a few different ways. First, on the banking side, there's things such as blockchain that help with items such as distributed ledger technology that can help information sharing or trade clearing, which is something that actually banks pay millions and millions and millions of dollars for back office operations. And that can all go away to a certain extent with technology such as blockchain. I'll look at areas such as insurance tech too that we also bucket under fintech for now. And that's an industry that's been around where the average employee is between 50 to 60 years old. There are many brick and mortar locations that are out there as well um, to help that operate. And it deals with a very capital intensive insurance pool. But that being said, the way that risk is underwritten, the way that premiums are underwritten um, has been around as a very human based system that can deal, that can be very non cost effective for those companies right now. And insurance tech can help kind of streamline that, but not also in the underwriting piece, it's also in the customer acquisition piece and being able to understand who are the different customers and how do you underwrite risk to different pools of people. That's something that doesn't happen as well today that insurance that can help with. And the third thing on the FinTech side I'll bring up is B2B payments. So consumer payments such as Square, those are things that are helping small businesses. But if you think about how vendors manage or companies manage their vendor relationships, their supply chains, how they negotiate their contracts, how they actually execute on those payments, they can be using multiple vendors just to help them with those tasks. So if you can put that all on a platform um, where there's a software as a service business model, it's one payment for the year, and they can manage all of that, that's incredibly efficient for them and something that we think adds a lot of value.